Oh, you don't touch it. <laughs> is that the one? This is it. Oh. All right, go, go. In five, four, three. Go ahead and just turn the record on. Huh? That's tomorrow. Oh, yeah. That is it. Oh, yeah. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a... I can't do it. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live. Fuck it. <laughs> do it live. I can, I'll write it, and we'll do it live. 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 Let's go. Let's fucking go. There you go, Chew. Take a skip. Play us out. Play us out. This video is wild, man. I took a look at Hitler was out. <laughs> look at that. Just got two rhinos fucking. Play us out. Play us out. Play us out. I sting there, too. <laughs> Oh. Hey, the White Sox lost again. Oh. Are you just embracing the suck at this oh, point? Oh, just eating it. <laughs> you need to turn off your notifications. It's fucking with my vibe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Tinder's on fire right now. Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that, Chewy? Chewie's having like a silent disco. Yeah. Those are so weird. They are. But they're all, I mean, I would do it. Why not? You do a silent disco? Yeah, why not? I think we should do it. <laughs> we'd have, I mean, we'd have to get a bunch of fucking... <laughs> headphones? A bunch of Bluetooth headphones, but... Well, it's not in the budget this year, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Oh yeah. I might need a breathing strip. Welcome back <laughs> to the gentleman's den. Jeff and Sean are back in the den. For your finger gun. For your viewing and listening pleasure. Woo, we're in a good mood tonight. Feeling yeah. nice, feeling great. It's a good day. Get it right, get it tight. Know what they say? Shout out P Diddy. <laughs> Is that how you get it right? Oh, eh, eh. Dude, those jail, him and R. Kelly in jail together. I they should put them in the same jail. Those parties are gonna be lit. It's gonna be toilet Merlot. <laughs> to- <laughs> toilet Merlot and all the baby oil you can find. <laughs> Thousand bottles. That's unbelievable. That's so much. All right, bef- before would you say uh, the plethora? The oh, plethora. Well, that 785 dildos, or whatever it was. I couldn't imagine if someone opened up because it had to have been a room. They just opened up the door, and well, you saw how big was that house? Thousand. So you think he just had like ten in each room? <laughs> maybe, or maybe he had a hundred bottles per room. He had him like duct like, tape under the table, like people do with the guns. He no. just just in case. No, it's Diddy. So my guess is he had a very nice shelving, probably glass doors with lights, with lights, and all lit up behind him. Mm-hmm. Like fifty bottles of Ciroc on top of it. That, that there's like fifty bottles of Patron. Then there's a hundred bottles of, bio, of baby oil. <laughs> and you, know, I want what brand did he have? Because Johnson and Johnson. Oh, it's the best. Is that the best? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know he's not gonna. You know, you know he's not gonna skimp. He's not gonna go to Dollar General and be like, "Ooh, yeah, great value." <laughs> no, he's getting the Johnson and Johnson. He kept Johnson and Johnson in business. That's a perfect name though, because you use it for your Johnson and Johnson. Multiple Johnsons. Multiple. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before Johnsons. We, before we get too crazy, what? September twenty first is an important date. In my life, in in Jeff's life, number one, it's uh, 
the passing of our friend Doug George passed away September 11th uh, or September 21st. See, uh, that's what was that before 9/11? I think it was 2000. Yeah, I think it was 2000. 99 or 2000. One, yeah. of those, one in in there somewhere. It's been a long time, long time, long General. Time. <laughs> and it's also our boy Riverside Rob's birthday, September 21st. <sighs> Which, if you believe in the numbers thing, there's, like, a lot of weird coincidences, numbers lining Mixed up. Mixed in. Yeah. But uh, Rob would always make us do SoCo and Limes. And we looked here in the laundry basket full of liquor. Shout out, Bob. Just Shout out, Rev DeVille. And there was a bottle of Hunter Proof Southern Comfort in there and a thing of Rose's Sweet Lime Juice. Ooh, I'm scared right now. And that lime juice was thick. <laughs> So, for Riverside's birthday, for Dougie George, there we go. This is to you, boys. Team drink. I had to chew it. Oh my god! It burns. It, fire right now. it burns so good. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah, oh. remind it reminds me of the old days. My eyes are watering. Not that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm such a puss. I didn't taste any lime. I, I got lime. You got a lot? Yeah. I got some. Things are happening in my mouth. I'm thankful, I don't know if it's good or I'm not. I'm thankful for the cool mint zin. Oh my god, spicy. I just went down on a tino. <laughs> my tongue is instantly numb though. <laughs> Something's going on. My lord. Oh, I can't even taste it. Wow. Hunter proof fucking SoCo. That'll kick you in the nuts. God damn. Right on. All right. Oh, here we go. So. You want to introduce our new sponsor? Yes. Our sponsor. Roto Wipe. <laughs> what can we say about Roto Wipe that hasn't been screamed from the mountaintops? <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about the cleanest stink star on the land? It's good. You need to get the roto wipe. Roto, the soft touch bristles. I think my favorite thing was the thing you mentioned here was the uh, <laughs> 20, 2700 gentle RPM. <laughs> <laughs> it gets ripping. Powered by how many nine volt batteries? 16 nine volt batteries. <laughs> so you can power the roto wipe and um, your house if you plug your it smoke in. Smoke detectors. <laughs> I mean, 16 nine volt batteries. You could. You can start a car with that. Oh, my God. Um, what else we got in here? How well, much? Uh, so if you want one, you can. Uh, 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 it doesn't have a price on here. I thought that was the price, but that's uh, how much money you'll save on toilet paper. $284 a year on toilet paper you'll save. However, you'll spend 500 on nine full batteries. So it's uh, it's reasonably priced. Forty-two payments at nineteen ninety-five. Okay. So, Keep I mean, talking. It's 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 a great deal. Uh, it also comes with uh, expansion discs. <laughs> it comes with a uh, stripping disc, a uh, eight hundred forty-six nylon polymer bristles, make quick work of vegetables, fruit, and all <laughs> smaller painted knickknacks. As <laughs> as well as a buffing disc. I love how she's buffing. <laughs> she's peeling the potato over the toilet. <laughs> and then she's uh, the ultra soft cotton like material buffs and shines glass metal in most oil based painted surfaces. She's actually buffing her nails in the toilet. It is also dishwasher safe. Um, here it's uh, best ways to clean. It says on the box. Ooh. Two minutes on the roto wipe, and that is five stars. <laughs> five stars. A twelve minute shower with liquid body wash is four stars. A car wash sprayer for two seconds. <laughs> on the rinse setting. Yeah, you savages. Is three stars. A bidet, thirty seconds, forty psi, that's two stars. Toilet paper, angel touch, two ply, aloe and lanolin, two stars. Aloe lanolin. Aloe. And lanolin. Oh, go to high school and, with her. <laughs> and elm slash maple leaf, four <laughs> to six inches early autumn. <laughs> that's only stars? one star. Yeah, that's a one star. 
Would not recommend. Yes, it's... <laughs> Doesn't have a sock on there. I'm surprised. And they also have the mini roto wipe. That's what can, I'm interested in. Which you could take hiking or to stadiums. <laughs> you can stay clean anywhere. On the go. On the go. So, yes. Shout out to roto wipe. Shout out roto wipe. For being our first official sponsor <laughs> of the Gentleman's Very Day. Very excited. Very exciting. Uh, our, I'm, I'm excited about my butt. My butt's excited. About how clean it's about to be. Yeah, I mean, it's like getting peanut butter out of shag carpet for you. Yeah, day. it's going to be a beautiful, so, beautiful day. Kayla no might, she might eat it after I use the roto wipe. You better put that polishing disc out there. They're <laughs> shined up. So. <laughs> don't get the discs mixed up. Ooh, yeah, you don't want the peeler. <laughs> that, stripping, <laughs> that stripping disc will strip your taint. <laughs> and that's not going to be fun for anybody. At I'm all. Just putting it out there. I am. Someone might be into it. Roto White, your butthole, thank you. Go get you one. Five-year warranty, too. If you use our promo or, code. Or 10,000 flushes, <sighs> whichever comes first. If you use this, you're going to come first, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's in the news? Let's... What's in the news? P. Diddy's a creep is what's in the news. <laughs> Officially, of, I think it's kind of an underground known that Diddy's kind of a. Well, everybody talked about Diddy parties. Yeah. Oh yeah, we went to the Diddy White party. What? So, if you look, if you start looking at like all the parties and shit that he had, like Ben Affleck is filing for divorce again <laughs> from J Lo because of a bunch. No, I of, thought she broke up with him. No, Ben Affleck did because there's a bunch of I guess FBI video of her. At these parties. Oh, J Lo. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't wait for the list. Let's go. Chips are falling. So, with that being said, we all know who we need to vote for <laughs> if we're going to get these lists out hmm. the Epstein list, the Diddy list. Is it the Donald? Is he going to release the we, list? We need 45 to be 47. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's so weird. Has that ever happened in history where yeah. a guy, it, it has? Richard Nixon. Oh, no shit. See, I didn't know. I'm not. Yeah, he was. I'm banning. not balls deep in politics. He was uh, here, then Kennedy, then bang, bang, then Nixon was back. No shit. So that much farther? Uh, well, you had Kennedy, then you had Lyndon Johnson because Kennedy. Was assassinated. Was, was uh, taken out by the magic bullet. <sighs> And uh, Lyndon Johnson being his second in command is the one who moves up. Uh, I just I think that he's he might have an accident in jail. I'm not gonna lie, he might I, have an Epstein. I always used to when I'd always if you ever read any of my longer FB posts, Facebook posts, I'd always finish with the dicks out for Harambe, and Epstein Epstein didn't kill himself because he didn't. Sorry. Well, I don't know. Were you there? He might have. The, all of a sudden, the cameras didn't work, and the guard fell asleep. And I don't know. I'm just saying. <sighs> just saying. <laughs> Conspiracy theories. It's sad that we live in a, you know, everybody used to think, you know, hey, conspiracy theories. You guys are just crazy. Now a bunch of them are coming true, and it's, they're not theories. They're fact. Conspiracy <laughs> fact. And then people just brush them off like, yeah, okay, next thing. Just like the Trump assassination attempt. Got the brushed. second one? The, the fir first one. The first one? Remember, it was a week. Everybody talked about it. Yeah, then that it was, was weird. And then, then it was, was just gone. gone. Again. And then he, and at the debate, they didn't bring it up. They brought up January 6th and all the other bullshit. Yeah. But they didn't bring up shit about Trump getting an I watched some of it probably, I may, think I made it like an hour. The only thing that frustrated me is they don't answer any of the questions. Like, they're like, what do you think about, uh, what are your policies going to be? And they're like, well, I was raised by a middle class family. That is the one that pisses that. me off. And then it's the like, most. he's a dick and uh, this and that. And then he's like, she's a liar. She yeah. sucks at this. Um, the Mexicans are eating cats and dogs. It's like. <laughs> Are we no, gonna fucking no? It's it's the Haitians. The Haitians, okay. Haitians, but 
Sorry, Mexicans. <laughs> Y'all are all right by me. Actually, everybody's all right by me. Just stop eating cats. I just saw a video from a guy from Spring. But that was the debate, wasn't it? Basically, it was. <laughs> no one answered any fucking questions. She has not answered a question yet. Every interview, anytime someone asks, oh, what are you going to do to better the economy? Well, I was brought up in a middle class, by a single mother. It, that's not answering the question. Well, she's, she's, she wants a middle class vote because the middle class well, feels cheap. A hundred percent. Like, but if you're too blind to notice she's been in office for three plus years now. That's the thing that drives me nuts is she's like day one i'm going to do this it's like you're in there you're there not right do it right now now that's the only thing that bothers me well my favorite thing too is how the media has spun everything as well she was called the border czar Mm -hmm. you could watch the media clips from cnn from abc news from all these news sources appointed border czar kamala harris appointed yeah then all of a sudden Oh, she was never appointed the border czar. You reported it. What are you? F- well, you remember that interview where they're like, have you been to the border? She's like, oh, I haven't been to Europe. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't want to get too political, but I feel like it's a, you know, it's a topic in the country. It's, that and Diddy. Well. Are taking over. And the second assassination attempt on Trump. There's been two assassination attempts in less than f- in 60 days. She's blown over. Oh, well, it's crazy it's because to me he didn't is... get a shot off. So it wasn't an assassination. Attempt. Because <laughs> if you've ever been to a golf course, the dude's sitting on the sixth hole. Trump is finishing up on the fifth on his way over to the, and they saw a barrel sticking out of a tree yeah. or a bush or wherever the guy was at. He couldn't get a shot off because there was no clear line of sight right there. But as soon as he got to the tee box, he was gone. It was over. It's pretty crazy that uh, fucking. Uh, so they say that the Republicans, right? We're the Repub- Well, I say they were. I'm, I'm more like I don't. I'm know, dead center in the middle. Neutral. Yeah. Um. I don't vote on a team, Republican no. or Democrat. I vote on like a person in policies and. Yeah. Exactly. But. They always say Republicans are like the gun-toting, crazy wild men, but yet the other side is the one that's like doing all the shit. It's weird because it's flipped. Yeah. Like the Democrats. They don't talk about that. The Democrats side was always the soft. Uh-huh. We'll, we'll listen to everybody else's. No, now it's the public side going. No, we're listening to what you're saying. We're taking in what you're saying, but you're not listening. It's like yelling at a brick wall. Yeah. You you can yell all you want about... Oh, they yell. They scream. Yeah. That woman, remember? She's like, I'm going to scream for a minute straight now. <laughs> Why? What is I that doing? Everything that these ultra... I'm, I, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I can't stand the liberal left. I, I From them... I'm so out of politics that when people used to go to the left, I had no idea what they were talking about. Yeah, you the left of, and the right, I had no idea who the left was, who the right. Conservative. Yeah, I don't. Liberal. I don't know what that means. Who's conservative? The Re- Republican side is conservative. The Democratic side is the liberal side. But well, what does that mean, conservative and liberal? Conservative so like is more conserving like, their goods and no, it's more um, almost religion based kind of. You know. Don't cheat on your wife. You know, if you're married, that's what you have. Don't have kids out of wedlock. Stuff like that. Okay. That's that, That's like ultra right conservative. Okay. And then. But then there's like far right and far left. Yeah. And so the, those and, are like the extremists. Yeah. Those okay. are, those are the God's going to smite you down. <laughs> and. Yeah. That's how far out of loop I am. Well, and unfortunately, you're, cause we get older, we get drugged into it. I'm. Dude, I grew up with Rage Against the Machine. I grew up with all these in punk rock bands just shitting on the government all the time. I have not heard one anti-government song in years. But the kids now, I feel like even my daughter, she's in fifth grade and she talks about like the President Trump and Biden. It's just 
I remember Bill Clinton got his dick sucked. Like that's all I knew about politics. I remember I did not have sexual well, relations. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> with that woman. We had the Gulf War and uh I knew he played the saxophone. I didn't know any of his policies. He played the saxophone and he yeah, liked he was, Monica Lewinsky. So when Clinton got elected, he was a vibrant, upbeat you know, yeah. he was he was there. You know, he was he was show he was the hip boobies. vote, show if you will. Boobies. And he was going up against George Bush Senior, mm -hmm. who was the wet blanket. To, yeah. To, I mean, he was just. He was, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, just get him a glass of milk and. Yeah. Basically. He was the Biden. Like yeah. So he was the sleepy Joe. So we don't have we didn't have. For a while, they didn't have like the magnanimous character. Like Trump is a magnet. My favorite thing to hear is he's Hitler. He's no, he's not. Will you just shut up and stop <laughs> reading the rhetoric and listen to what he's saying? I mean, that's that's, that's pretty extreme. I mean, yeah, you're. He's gonna. He wants to abolish the Constitution. No, he doesn't. Well, he was already in there. Did he abolish the Constitution? Yeah, no. Did he do it? <laughs> and the funniest thing is, if you look at like. The, uh, like, why do people want to assassinate him? Because he's just so dangerous. I don't. I'm. No, people be, don't want low gas prices. Well, it's because of the rhetoric spilled about him by the left leaning me media. Trump, from day one when he was in office, was instantly villainized. He was the villain. Everybody hated him. Yeah. And all you know what he was doing? To make drain in the swamp. He was trying to get rid of the corruption. <laughs> When you got people like Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who is a lifelong Democrat, his whole family is uh, is Democrats, leaving the Democratic Party. Well, Tulsi Gabbard too, right? And Tulsi Gabbard as well. If there's a woman president, I would vote for Tulsi Gabbard tomorrow. Yeah, I would too. I just I, like her. That's I, what I'm saying. That's why I don't have a team. If you have a team, then you're only going to, like, even like, as a Bears fan, I'm a Bears fan. Whatever, but I like Aaron Rodgers. Was that you was a Packer? You appreciate I appreciate good like football. yes. I'm I am. The president is supposed to be the spokesperson for the people, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I want to go for a person that I like and want to be the spokesperson. I if I could had a magic wand, I would start all this over. Like no Trump, no fucking Joe Biden, no Kamala or however she pronounces it. Um. Yeah, let's just wipe. I, there's no one better. God damn, I hate politics. Very much so. Sorry, but, guys. <laughs> but yeah, it, but I mean, let's be honest. We, we, I don't know how many people that watch or listen to us don't think the same way that we do. Yeah. I mean, we have friends that I'm sure. I don't. I just want to know if you're voting. For either one, Trump or Harris, why? Why are right. you voting? And for I want a good reason. Yeah, not because she's a woman, not because he's Donald Trump. Because he's, I mean, there's people that you know pray for Trump, you know, bowing down to him. He's not the Messiah. No. He is. He's a man. He's a man, just like all of us. On the inside. But um, tell me what you're going to do to make my life better. That microphone's going deeper into your beard, but it's... I know. <laughs> it's all right. I, I, you, you told me to keep it on my face, so... I no, don't... keep it up. Well, point it at your mouth. It oh, is. God, it's microphone discipline. It's right here, buddy. See? Now it's I like my, that. It's, ASMR. It's... <laughs> At my mouth, all right? <laughs> <sighs> Just like Saturday nights. It's in oh. your mouth. Oh, I want you to, well, you wouldn't choke on it because you're a pro, but get it <laughs> get exactly. it in there. Exactly. So what else is going on in the world? I, you know, Diddy being a creep is funny. Trump almost getting killed again. The memes are great. All the, the, the fucking, Diddy memes. Uh, yeah, oh, the, the Diddy video. memes. That, Him and R. Kelly. And, oh, boy. Suge Knight's going to be there, too. I mean, it's... Oh, my God. It's going to be lit. Let's go. Let's and, go to and prison. All those, and all those other rappers that are in prison right now. 
for shooting other guys. Oh my god, he's not gonna last. <sighs> Could you imagine going from like penthouses and after parties? Oh, he's. But yeah. I mean, he did it to himself. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, like, what a fucking this is gonna be. It's one of those it's ones. Crazy. It's one of those ones where. You don't realize how corrupt you can be until you have all the money. You have disposable money. Think about it. You think about it. He has hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, and you get bored. You've had it all. You've had every supermodel. Well, the J Lo fucking. Uh, he would the freak offs. We were yeah. talking about earlier. Yeah, freak offs. He would pay dudes to bang each other, but he's not gay. That's pretty gay. Nobody it, wants to. Yeah, but, he's got, it's not about being gay or straight. It's about the power over somebody, but he, I feel like. Well, he used to. So I watched a whole video of a guy breaking it down. Like, Yeah. And he's like, he would choreograph what he would want, what he wanted to watch. Yeah. And sit in the corner of the room and just. Yank it? And just, you know. I can feed the geese uh -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> and have it choreographed out. Do you think when he was coming, he'd be like, it can't stop. It won't stop. <laughs> I Bad said, boy for life. <laughs> I, one of the funniest things I've seen so far is Biggie wasn't cockeyed. He just kept what I had Diddy at all times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's wild. I, you know, it's, all these people that were in our, like, honestly. Oh my God, is there a thunderstorm? Making the band is so much creepier now when you think right, about it. Because you all the shit he made those kids do. It's so, like, what didn't we see? Behind the scenes. Yeah. Farnsworth Bentley needs to come out. That's what I, when all the shit started happening, I was like, I want to hear from that guy. Because that was like his right hand fucking man. Yeah. Mr. Bowtie and Umbrella. Yeah. He needs the... Yeah, I need to hear from Farnsworth. That's why he had that umbrella from all the jizz. Is Farnsworth Bentley still alive? Where, where? I think so. I hope so. I would love to hear from Farnsworth Bentley. Let's go. Someone's got to hunt him down. Exactly. Maybe he'll do an interview on The Gentleman's Den. Probably not. <laughs> you don't think so? You don't think no, we can I, get him? I, 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 That's a tough grab. I don't think our, our viewership is high what enough. What if it's like, can we get his mailman to do the podcast? I mean, can I get the Amazon delivery driver that has right. dropping off all that baby oil? All that lube? <laughs> just, how, can you imagine how many Amazon trucks are just pulling up to the house? And no, out, he just, just had the truck just back up to the garage. Well, and the sad thing, too, is his kids are getting indicted, too. And there's, I mean, it's getting real dark. Like, bad, dude, bad boy, if any, so that's another thing is the one of the heads of bad boy was like his Ghislaine Maxwell. So if she gets implicated in there, being that if anything went through the company, that's another life sentence on him. Yeah, whatever happened with that lady? Ghislaine Maxwell, she's still alive, I think. Where's... Where's the books? Release the Epstein files. Let's go here. Well, all right. So she was arrested for uh, trafficking. Okay, but for who and for what? Exactly. For no one. For for Jeffrey Epstein. It's conspiracy. How dare you? Flat Earth. P pizzazz pizza oven. <laughs> What's that? There's flat, but you know it's like the pizzazz pizza oven. The sun stays is it like a rising crust? Sun, the sun stays in one spot and it mm. rotates like a pizzazz pizza oven. We're like on the, one of those hot dog wheels in a gas station. No, it's more like the a record, but the sun's here. Okay, and so the record just, just spins. Keep spinning. Yeah, <laughs> we're in a simulation anyway. Yeah, I. You know what? You know it'd be great if this is really a simulation. If someone would type in the computer for me, um, wins Powerball. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to manifest it. I, I think you need to read that book, The Secret. <laughs> do I need to make a vision board? <laughs> yes, you do. It's all right here, folks. 
Vision board. I got to knock some of the bullshit out of there. Oh, man, but life is good. Do you think Stevie Wonder has a vision board? (laughs) 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 What about Ray Charles? He's like, man, I wrote this great song, but I can't read it. (laughs) (laughs) Shit. (laughs) That's... That's actually a great point. Yeah. How did he get the music down? Like, if you wrote, did he freestyle all those songs? He had to have. Unless he had someone whispering in his or ear. Or did he have like a little recorder or something? Probably had a recorder, I'm guessing. Some people, yeah, maybe some people did freestyle it. He probably recorded it and then played it back. And like, who's that? Uh, Rick Rubin was talking about the rappers and their process. Like, mm. uh, Eminem just constantly writing, 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 writing. And Jay-Z will just go in there. Yeah, one take, Jay. Yeah, he'll take, like, 15 minutes and then go in there and spit it. So, yeah, maybe he's kind of like that. See, that's a, a talent that I wish I had a little bit more of. What's that? Being able to not, like, freestyle a like, but go into a booth, hear a beat, and you just sit there and you listen to the beat 20 times. Yeah. And you know what you're going to say. Yeah, I'm not uh, very well-versed. It's hard for me to even talk on this podcast. Um, oh, Jesus. The girls are down here. It's They're right. rollerblading. It's all right. Chickadees. Um, yeah, I don't know where that where that comes from. It's a true talent. I mean, to be a freestyle rapper, Very I feel so. like to just say the first thing that, especially like those battle rappers, because that's like straight out the mm-hmm. dome. You can't fake that at all. Well, that's like uh, roast comics. Yeah, like we could roast each other because we know each other's, you know, ins and outs. I'd feel things. bad about roasting. Some of those are harsh, oh, man. Some I, of them are I, rough. I could not do that. Some of them are rough, but. There's one who, God, I can't remember who it was. Was it, uh, I think it might have been Tony Hinchcliffe, where they had uh, two heavier set guys. He's talking about like diabetes. Oh, yeah. ADD was a dose of diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look like you both look like a before and after for a product that didn't work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, I couldn't be mean to someone's face like that. Like, that's just, I, I just can't do that. Doughboy, or was it? You both wearing sweatsuits, so you just gave up on pussy. <laughs> that was a great rose. And what was the other one? Uh, Doughboy. He's like, but I spell it D O B O Y. He goes, yeah, I thought you'd spell that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> great rose. Check it out. <sighs> Roasting. That's an art form that I wish I, I had. Uh, I have a quick wit. But it's more in conversational. Yeah. Like, it'd be tough for me to stand on stage and be like, look at somebody and just be like, oh, boy. <sighs> like, I would have to, my brain would have to be constantly going. Yeah. I would have to probably up this in dosage to a six, maybe. <laughs> maybe a nine with three in. But, no, oh, but other than being scared shitless of what's going to happen in, uh, what, 40 something days. Was that when the election is? Yeah. Uh, life's good. So far. So far. We'll see. All right. Girls. Upstairs. God, they've invaded it. We said an hour and you gave us 29 minutes. My Lord. They're trying to rollerblade. It's all, all right. right. Take the fruit boots upstairs. Bella. I'm going to have to go over there and regulate. Nope. We got two of them going. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies. It wasn't my idea. Yeah, I know. I know it was Bella's. She's a savage. Upstairs. 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 Daddy's doing a podcast now, daughter. <laughs> <sighs> I'd love his studio. Like a way, and it's nice it's in my basement because I could just, oh, I just got the dance chair. Not the first time. No. Won't be the last. She'll get over it. Yeah. She's going to have a sleepover tonight. She's going to have fun with her friends. God, I can still taste that. Uh, I can't. I'm like sweating from I'm, that shot. I just I'm, thought about it, and I instantly started getting I'm hot. I'm warm. 
Thanks, Riverside. Shout out to you, bro. Oh, you sassy, sassy boy. Should we do one more? That was a lot. You filled it, too, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Look at how hot you are. Your glasses are steaming uh, up. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little sweaty. <laughs> I'm a little sweaty boy. It's a little hot on there. What else we got in this basket? You want to do one more? I don't know. All this politic. Politic? Politic. Politic talk. <laughs> Roto wipe. <laughs> Go get you some. I think I'm going to get the mini so I can travel it. You you need it. Oh, I do. <laughs> With with your wiping problems. I got the dude wipes. Who I really would love a, a sponsorship from is the dude wipes. Okay, now, careful with these ones. I don't want to... Don't don't fill it to the brim like you did last time. Shut up, you pussy. <laughs> I am. I'm trying to train. I'm trying to be a whiskey man. It's Southern it. Comfort. It's not really whiskey. It's just... What is it? It's from the South? It's... Uh, what is Southern Comfort? It doesn't even say. It just says Southern Comfort. Dude, I remember I went on Panama City Beach, Florida for oh, spring break. Whiskey and natural <laughs> flavors and caramel color. Just the caramel color? Yeah. This I, fucking dude just every 10 minutes would go, Wild turkey, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know why. He loved it. Wild turkey's rough. What? Sorry, man. I'm at a different angle. Here, fuck, fuck you. I'll go all the way no, up. No, don't go all the way up. Nothing go. can stop me. I'm all Here the way up. Ah, <sighs> to the diddler. To the diddler. Actually, the big titties of monster trucks. That's what we always drink to. I know, but oh, fuck! I'm sweating even more now. Now this is in smoked. So what is Southern Comfort? It's not a. Is it a whiskey? It's a whiskey, supposedly. I think it's just a uh, gasoline. <laughs> a little bit of a. Uh, Dude, it tastes like pure fucking fire. Well, it's the hunter proof too. It's not. <sighs> it's not the. It's not the light. We're about to get hot down here. Yeah, I'm. Be shirtless here in a minute. We should let you the titty, do the rest of it. Let the titties you hang want to out. Do the rest of this podcast shirtless. <laughs> no, because we'll get kicked off YouTube with our tits out. Well, fine. <laughs> let's go pantsless. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> All right. <sighs> oh, balls on the leather oh, seat. My God. <sighs> what else is happening? I watched the Fall Guy. How was it? It was a great homage to was it? The stuntmen. Was it? I, I haven't. I've not watched it yet. It was, uh, it had its moments. Very good stunts, obviously. Like I said, it was a very good, like, homage. I know we were talking about, you know, Lee, last week, Lee Majors. Yeah. And, like, was it a TV show? Yeah. I thought it was a good movie. Um, you know, they had to add the love story in there, which, whatever. Well, I mean, uh, Emily Guy, Blunt was fucking great in it. Emily, Ryan Goslin was fucking great. Emily Blunt, Blunt is great in everything. Yeah. Oh, boy. That Southern Comfort and... <laughs> And shout out Dulagis. Ooh, Burp yeah. It was rough. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I really haven't seen a movie that Emily Blunt's in that I'm not like, oh, wow, she's a really good actress. Edge of Tomorrow was phenomenal. Awesome movie. Awesome. Under the radar. Very much so. I think she's an under the radar actress. <sighs> she's great. Beautiful eyes. Love me some Emily Blunt. She was great in uh, Neighbors. Seth Rogen, Zach Efron. Was she the wife? She's the wife. Hmm. Why did I think it was someone else? Yeah, is it someone else? They all look the same right now. No, it's Emily. It was Blair. someone else. Nope. It was uh it was the girl from uh Nipples. It wasn't Emily Blunt. I'm, I, I don't know the actress's name, but uh, she was in Get Him to the Greek. Uh, oh, uh, shit. She was uh, the Russell Brand's. Yeah. Yeah. Love interest. Sorry, I'm 
looking up her. Uh, Go down the rabbit hole. Well, it wasn't her from Neighbors. It was that girl I'm talking about. I don't know her fucking name. No, oh, I'm sorry. But anyway, it was a fucking good movie. I enjoyed the shit out of it. Yeah, she was in Sicario. That was a good movie. Yeah, that was good. I saw a movie preview uh, today, actually, for... It was a sequel, and I've never seen the first one. Um, the first one's called Den of Thieves. Have you ever seen Den of Thieves? Oh, yeah, that was with 50, 50 cents in that one. So the second one is just Gerard Butler and uh, who's uh, Ice Cube's son? O'Shea... O'Shea um, Jackson. O'Shea Jackson. That preview looks fucking... That movie looks good as shit. So I'm... Super pumped to see that. And I'm super pumped for uh, Deadpool and Wolverine to come out on Disney Plus October 1st. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah. We're we're going to do it. If the weather is all right, we're going to do that outside. Projector, for sure. Now what are you doing? I just want to see Looking who up is, that lady? Yeah, who is the cast? Rose Byrne. Rose Byrne. Rose Byrne and Emily Blunt are kind of look the same to me. Yeah. Mm. They kind of got the same, same vibe, and they're both, uh, I believe, British. So, yes, you are correct on that. So yeah, across the pond. But you know who still is hot? Kate Ooh. Beckinsale. Just saying, she'll always be hot. She don't age. Fine wine. I'm aging like milk. <laughs> aging like a banana. Milk and bananas. <laughs> but... <laughs> That's what we look like, baby. Who else got their fastball? Scarlett and Johansson still getting, got the fastball. How old is Scarlett now? She's got to be late 30s, early 40s. <sighs> we'll I mean, J-Lo's still fucking hot, but I don't know how much makeup she's got on. Probably a lot. Uh, we don't talk about J-Lo right now. She might be in the mix of some ditty stuff. I don't care. 39. Scar Joe. Okay. Also, Michael Bay, you're an asshole. What? That movie he made with Scarlett Johansson. Which one? The Beach or whatever. The Beach with it, Leonardo it has, DiCaprio? There's a Michael Bay movie that Scarlett Johansson was in, and she said, yeah, I'll go top us this whole movie. Mm -hmm. And he said, no. So fuck you, Michael Bay. Michael Bay. And your giant explosions. We want to see giant titties. Explosions and American flags. That's yeah. what Michael Bay does. But no big American titties? I want to see some American tits. You know what I'm saying? America wants to see American tits. <laughs> Fuck it. Stetch and Weissmuller, 2028. Explosions and titties. That's our campaign. Is that what we're running on? <laughs> That's our campaign. Maybe for our, our village presidency nope we're going we're running Whoa, we're going fucking statewide yeah let's go the americas we're running as independents vote for us yeah i don't think if uh rkw jr or whatever his name is can't RFK. do it yeah so there's another uh phenomenal he's jacked as fuck by the way 70 something years old just he's fucking shredded He's on the juice. <laughs> you think he's natural? Oh, dude, I think that's that's all natural. It's got to be. It's just American blood. Because the way he talks about the, you know, the big pharma and stuff, yeah, his he's. You think so? He's all natural. Just works out like a monster. I don't think so. I think so. At seventy? Yeah. He's that jacked. Yeah. I mean, look at Vince McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> he's natty as fuck. Only man to blow both quads out trying to jump into the ring. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. Wasn't he in some trouble? Let's get into it. September 25th, the documentary comes out on Netflix. Vince McMahon? Dude, it's dark. He, Vince McMahon might be hanging out with Diddy. Is he in jail? No. The, a lot of allegations, though. Yeah, but that's a Deshaun Watson. Allegations. He's not in jail. Move my dick out of the way and <laughs> massage my inner thigh. <laughs> oh, just move it out the way. Yeah. I wish someone had to move my dick out of the way to do anything. 
<laughs> I ought to wake up and just be like, get out of the way. Yeah, I just move that. Move that log. <laughs> yeah. You're going to need both hands. I don't want you to pull a muscle in your back. Yeah. Uh, no, Vince, it's just going into his corruption in the wrestling business and stuff like that. He uh, had some extramarital affairs that... Uh, what do you mean he wasn't faithful to his wife? No, sir. He was not. Vince McMahon? Wow, that's surprising. <laughs> I know, right? But um, there's some really damning statements from a former lover slash employee. Mm. And one of those statements is he defecated on her head. He shit on her head. Like the top of it or the front of it? They were in a three-way. Three-way? Two dudes and a chick. And Vince pinched one off on on her head. (laughs) I don't think I could shit with a lady around. Not going to lie. No. Could you shit on someone? No. I mean, purposely? No. Accidentally after a bad taco night? It could happen. You're in your sleep. Post- you shit yourself, maybe. But post coitus, so you're laying there naked. Oh, bucket naked? Bucket naked. See the public hairs. <laughs> and trust the fart. And... Yeah, but not purposely. Yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. Like, okay, it's time to poop now. Go yeah. ahead and lay down. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, I could, what? No. What? I cannot purposely, I can't purposely pee on somebody. It would be tough if someone got stung by a jellyfish and tell me to pee on them. Every guy knows this situation where you go to the bathroom and someone's in there. You're standing at the urinal and it just takes a second. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is. Unless you really have to piss. Yes, but I've I've done it where I've just gone into the bathroom and I just like stood there like, come on, they don't hear anything. You're just standing here like a weirdo. Like, like you just and then you, shit starts going in your brain. Like you're standing there with your dick out in a room full of dudes. Yes, and you can't pee. Yeah, the stage fright is a real thing. So the thought of shitting on command on someone's head is like never going to happen. No. Well, also, we're not terrible people. You think they get excited about it? Yeah. Do they get like a shit boner? (laughs) Do you think Diddy, when he was in his 20s, got excited by making... Two dudes that are straight bang each other in front of him while he pleasured himself? No. He was happy to be banging the girl he met at the club. That's what we talked about we, when we had uh, Steve on, because he's been in the business. Yeah. And uh, I even asked him, like, is it just the, it just take, they've seen everything. They've banged every model. They've yeah. banged all this shit. Like, they just need, they, Push it and push it and push it. Mm-hmm. And eventually you have to have a limit. Some people, and then some people break that limit and then just. Poof. Yeah. And then pretty soon, yeah, you're making dudes dock in front of you and yeah. whatever else. You got a thousand, how many dildos? 785 or 86. That's a lot of dildos. That's a lot of dicks. Like 20 to me is a lot of dildos. Dude. Five is a lot of dildos. <laughs> I know, but he's rich. Yeah, still. You think he had like some deer skin? Oh, he might have the chrome. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure, dude. But. Well, I mentioned earlier, you know, when DJ Am passed away, sadly, they sold off his shoe collection. Like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen with this dildo collection? Is that going into evidence? Or are we going to have like a private auction? No, that, there's going to be a. <laughs> Evidence locker full of baby oil and dildos. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the question. Okay. Was there, say, 800 dildos and just 15 went missing? What do you mean? Like, the cops shove them up their ass? Like, the cops were like, ooh, my wife really wanted one of these. Be like, babe, this is Diddy's. This is Diddy's dildo. Come yeah. on. We'll, eh, put, we'll, put eh, it, eh. we'll put it in the dishwasher. We'll get it clean. Oh, no. Then you take it and... That might have been in someone. That might have been in one of the Kardashians. 
Could have been. She was at a Kim was at a lot of them ditty parties, mm. which is weird. It's getting really dark <laughs> thinking about that. <laughs> Man, maybe we don't want to be rich. <laughs> you were in that circle. It's weird because we grew up in small town, humble beginnings. I couldn't imagine going to a party like that. No. I've been to some wild, crazy parties where... Like, we've thrown wild, crazy parties. Yeah, those strippers were eating each other out on your pool table. Yeah. So, yeah. Could you imagine if you were a billionaire, what they would be doing? when, When they were doing that, though, everybody else had their shit on. There wasn't anybody standing there just... Rifling some knuckle children out. Well, someone should have. God damn it, Sean. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I love you, but I don't want to see your rig, and I don't want to see your rig fully torqued either. Like I said, I can't even... I have stage fright when I pee, initially. Yeah. I, so in a room full of people, I'm just going to start getting hard and jerking off? I, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. No. As much as I'd love growing up, I was like, man, how awesome would it be to be a porn star? I don't know if I could get hard in a so, room full of 30 people. So think about it. when you're a kid and you see a porno, you just think it's two people in that room. Yeah. No, there's a director. There's, there's a, a guy holding the, b- the boom, the boom, boom mic. mic guy. <laughs> there's a fucking videographer. It's a f- like eight people on the set, like watching the movie Orgasmo. Yeah. Where there's eight people that are eating <laughs> pop tarts. <laughs> yeah. There's no way I'm getting hard. No. no. Like, all right, we got to cut. We got to take a break. I, That's why they have fluffers, right? Yeah, and there's 50. You can eat 50 blue chew and your rigs go the opposite happen. direction. <laughs> it's pegging the other way. Yeah. I'm stabbing my bladder with my <laughs> on the inside. Yeah, it's. I wish I want to be tough and be like, I want to drink whiskey and get hard in front of a group of people. But it's just not going to happen for me. <sighs> I think it's also because of how, where we grew up and how we grew up and the stigma of like a dude gets a, you know, wood, a boner in, in sweatpants in, in, in the, in, or a boner in the shower or anything like that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, you know, if you got a boner in the locker room, everybody's like, oh, but why are they looking at your rig? Cause they're thirsty. So they want to see, they want to. Give it a little, give it a little pee pee, pee pee smooch. See how it's going. Bunch of closeted moes. <laughs> <laughs> Not me though. Oh no, you're out. Uh, I'm afraid of every dick but my own, brother. And that fucker scares me sometimes too. Really? The yeah. log you push that log, just push it out the way. Yeah. Yeah. Both hands. <laughs> Get the shovel. Go ahead and get the new T-shirt. It's up on. Uh, it's going up on Small Town Infamous. It says uh, "Like a baby arm." Oh, <laughs> baby, that's a man's arm. That's a man's arm. Is it? No, it's horrible. <laughs> I'm losing everything. I'm getting old. That dexterity, though. Brother. Yeah, no, I can't get a boner in front of people. No. I, I wish get, someone paid me a million dollars. I might get hard. If Diddy was like, "Hey, bro," mm. a million. I mean, what do you think? Could you do it? How if, much? If someone put a million dollars in my hand, how much should get hard? I'd get rocked up thinking about the million dollars, about all my bills being paid, just laying in that bed of cash. Oh yeah, I would totally in decent proposal, Demi Moore, roll around in the Ooh, yeah. roll around in it, have a hundred dollar bill in my ass crack. What's up? Now, is that before taxes or after taxes on that million dollars? Would you get taxed on that? And then you'd have to explain it. What was this for? Well, I got a boner at a party, and then I get <laughs> jerked off. No, you didn't say anything about doing anything with it. You just said get Oh, a boner. just get hard. So you just stand there like Superman? Yeah. Your, like, your hands like, on your hips like, with a boner? Like, uh, Look Les- what I did. Like Lester Cock and stuff from uh, Zach and Mary Make a Porno. <sighs> yeah, he just... He just that's what I picture happened there. And then bubbles showed up. Call her bubbles. <laughs> Man. We're making a movie, huh? That should be fun. Should we do our own porno? 
Should we have a gentleman's den? Porno? Once again, if we can cast people to play us, I'll, I I'll do my own stunts. Who's your? You're gonna do it with your lady? I don't think your lady's gonna. No, she will. I'll talk her into it. She's in, for sure. Zero percent. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a negative percent that she would. Yeah, do. probably negative. There's a negative a hundred percent that she would tell you no. Yeah, for sure. Mm, yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, there's no way. You don't think so? Not a chance. We'll see. I'll ask her tonight. She's in. Not a chance. We'll do it with the with the background right here. Better wash this tablecloth afterwards. No. Oh, I just rub it in the carpet. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Come for a circle. <laughs> It's not about your juices either, buddy. Let's go. It's other juices. Amen. Speaking of juices, Roto Wipe. Roto Wipe solve clean, your problems. Clean all them juices Get off the your... jizz out of the carpet with the mini Roto. And then if you come in the stadium bathroom. <laughs> you come in the stadium bathroom. You know someone's masturbated in the stadium bathroom. Yes. Yeah. Anywhere you can think of, a man is masturbated there. Yes. A park. Yes. It's been done. The zoo. Yes. Yep. I'm wondering. Here, let's let's think of places that would be difficult to. To masturbate? Yeah. When no one noticing you doing it. <laughs> like front row at a concert? Very difficult. Mm, no, there's a barricade in front of you. True. Uh, <laughs> Next. You could jerk off anywhere. Airplane would be tough. Oh, no, there's videos of people doing that. Yeah, but they got caught. Yeah. But they still did it. That's what I'm saying. Anywhere you think of, someone's done it. I just... That's like inventions. Everyone's like, oh, man, I got the fucking greatest invention. Like it's like no, there's uh, probably five of them already. Unfortunately for gentlemen, no one wants to see us masturbate. That and but <laughs> everybody can see that you're masturbating because it's always pretty much the same motion. Yeah, ladies don't have that. They can just they rub can, against a tree. Yeah, they can just be sitting there and. And they got a fucking something shoved up there. Yeah. We have to use a hand. Yeah. Yeah. We get looked at like weirdos for using a fleshlight, but you ladies yeah. got every damn invention under the sun. Did you see the uh, underglow for the Asians? I love it. It's phenomenal. What? <laughs> you remember the underglow for the cars? Yeah. So they wear skirts. Okay. And they have a... Butt plug-in? Butt plug-in, and it glows. Yeah. So, the, like, their skirt lights up, so it looks like fucking underglow. <laughs> How do you think those tails stay in in the furries? Up their butt? I thought it was attached to their belt. No, sir. My God, I'm learning so much. No, sir, that is a... All right, so for this podcast, I'm going to change it because normally it's under entertainment, but I think we need to change this to educational. Ooh, let's not do that. No? I mean, don't we? Our educational system's fucked up as it is. Shout out to the Asians. It's not just them, though, bro. I've never seen Underglow, have you? I could show you plenty of videos of ladies on the dance floor with... <laughs> underglow? See, they just change the lighting, but there's some that like are they dance little, the like the RGB uh LEDs. I've seen a video not too long ago where the guy like had the remote That's, for his lady and that, she, that, he's that, like, Oh, I'm just hitting it. She's like at the <laughs> dinner table like <laughs> Stop it. What? Hitting the button, chat. <laughs> we got pickleball tomorrow. 
<laughs> you, you ain't walking right. <laughs> Don't I worry. still haven't played pickleball. I'm ready. We can try it. I feel like a, I was very athletic as a child and a young adult. Very spry. When's the last time you've done any quick lateral movement? That's what I'm saying. I feel like pickleball's my game. Now that I'm older and I'm fucking can't move shit, I feel like I would dominate pickleball right now. You got to stay out of the kitchen. What does that mean? There's the square in front of the net. You can't go in there. Oh, I'm going. Oh, you're not allowed. Not allowed? Yeah, it's like the uh, fucking red area. Like if, if The floor is lava. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you can't step in the lava. As someone who was athletic, it frustrates me as I get older. Like, I want to go, like, play basketball. And, like, I just I can't do it like I used to do it. So I need to just dominate other sports that non-athletic people have taken over. Bowling. Mm, that's, like, too unathletic. Golf. <clears throat> that's more of a start younger. That's more of a skill game. Very skill. Bocce. I feel like pickleball is like uh, tennis ping pong. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's like combining the two. Yeah. Tennis and ping pong. Yeah. Well, I guess. I feel like if I played pickleball, I would fuck some shit up. I guess uh, David Dobrik just came out with paddle or uh, pickleball rackets that you can get at uh, Walmart. Okay. They're called Toby. They're named after his brother. Toby? Yes. Like to- everyone's dog, <laughs> Toby. Hey man, what? Some people name their kid Toby. Toby Maguire made a lot of good movies. Mm. Like what? The first Spider Man. Yeah. Second Spider Man. Second Spider Man. Uh, what was that? The uh, Cider House Rules. I mean, he walked a lot. What movie was that? Or no, that's Elijah. That's Elijah, and and that's the Lord of the Rings. God, I'm gonna. The nerds are coming for me right now. Oh, <laughs> they're gonna kill me. That was a funny comment on uh, being Facebook official with my lady. Oh, what happened? There was BJ put a comment on there. Yes, and she commented under it. Yes, you get to we get to nerd out together talking about Lord of the Rings, and I was just like. Yeah, and I'll be the guy in the corner sleeping while you're talking about that. They were nerding out when they met. Yeah. They about were... the uh, the new Lord of the Rings. Yeah. they That's her thing. I'm cool with it. I'll sleep through it. I made it through two episodes. I can't do it. And then Willow, I didn't even watch it. You can't, can't do it. Can't touch those, you can't touch those movies. Don't do it. No. Dark Crystal had a series. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's horrible. Dog shit. Worst... Series ever. We're at an hour. You want to wrap this up? Or you want to keep going? I want to do a raw, raw dogging. You want to do a live? I raw dog it a lot. I'm not going to lie. A lot. Do you raw dog it? Or no? Yes, sir. Do you know what raw dogging is? What they call it nowadays? Let's hear it. So, raw dogging is there's. People who like fly in a plane, no video, no phone, no music. It's called bra dogging. I can do it. I do it all. I drive in my car every yeah. day to work. I raw dog it. Yeah. I, I drive in my car a lot, just raw dogging. When well, I make the shoes, seriously, hours on end, raw dogging. Well, no music, no nothing. Well, you know what, though, too, is when you're in that artistic mode, you're not trying to, you're trying to focus on exactly what you're doing. Artistic, you said, right? Yeah, not autistic. Okay. Thank you. Maybe a little autistic. Maybe a little. A little but I, I think also that is just because of we overstimulated ourselves so much driving and shit with music when we were younger. With the... Yeah. With with my j- trunk fucking yeah. rattling. Yeah, with the 12s in the trunk and just... <laughs> like, in the morning, I don't turn my... I leave... It's like a background chatter. Yeah. I don't even pay attention. It's just, okay, I'm driving to work. And sometimes when I go home, radio doesn't even go on. Yeah. Let us know if you raw dog it. I raw dog it a lot. I raw dog it in that sense and in our sense, the old school sense. You do? Sir. My God. How dare you? 
Practice? Are we talking about practice? Practice. All right. All right, once again. Let's let these ladies rollerblade. Shout out to Roto White. <laughs> <laughs> also, <clears throat> shout out to, if you look in the background there, there's a pair of beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful sneaks. My new hotness. Jeff just dropped the hottest. I raw dog those, too. Who was, who was the uh, lady that you took the inspiration from? Uh, Anna Marie. Shout out to Anna Marie. On Etsy. Check her out. And with that being said, that brings us to an end of another fun-filled episode of the Gentlemen's Den. Ooh, yeah. Go to Kicks and Canvas underscore 223 on Instagram to check out Jeff's work. Also, Kicks and Canvas on TikTok. He's actually starting to use it. One time. <laughs> you started. You got mine, Small Town Infamous, The Unselfish Mind, all that fun stuff. Go check us out on Instagram. We'll be back again next week with another fun-filled episode of The Gentleman's Den. Thanks again. Kayla will be back soon. Don't you worry. Lady of the pod. She was in the hot tub with all her ladies. <laughs> Let that stew in for a minute. <laughs> we'll hear about it. See you next week. Peace.